Good morning and happy Sunday. This is our full body dumbbell workout. All you need is a yoga mat and a set of dumbbells. If you're using a lighter set of dumbbells, increase your reps. If you're using a heavier set of dumbbells, lower your reps. If you're kind of somewhere in the middle, you're gonna follow me with 12 reps. We have three circuits. We're gonna do each one three times, then we'll rest and move on. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have not warmed up your body yet, then um, let's go ahead and let's just assume we have not warmed up our body. So let's go ahead and deadlift forward, keeping that back flat, pushing the booty to the back of the room. Maybe hands rest on the thighs. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. On your next exhale, fold forward. So maybe a big bend in the knees. Inhale, lift to the mid shin, flatten the back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flatten the back. Exhale, fold forward. Give me two more on your own breath cycle. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. From here, take eight counts to roll. That's fine, right up to standing. That way we don't shock your body into anything too crazy this morning. All right, circuit one, four moves. Overhead press, 12 of them. Um, dumbbell row, 12 of them. Squat, maybe in goblet or racked, 12 of them. And a 30 second plank hold. So everybody ready? Grab those dumbbells and let's start. Again, I'm gonna do 12 reps. If you have lighter weights, try for 15. If you have um, heavier weights, try for eight to 10. Let's go, exhale, press up. That's one. Try to keep those elbows in line with the shoulders. Keeping that belly nice and engaged. Maybe squeezing those glutes or kicking uh, your little kickstand back. I have nine, 10, 11, and 12. Perfect. We're coming over into a bent over row position. We're gonna pull the elbows straight back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, straight back. Inhale, lower. We have 10, nine, Eight. Nice, strong body. Four, three, squats are next. Two, and one. All right, you can wrap the squat, or the uh, dumbbells, or you can hold one in a goblet position or put them down. 12 squats, any style you'd like. Be sure to squeeze the booty on the way up, not just at the top, the whole way up. Really squeeze. I have four more. Perfect. All right, we have a 30 second plank. You can do forearms or you can do full arms. Place the palms under the shoulders, kick one foot back and the other. I'm gonna look over my shoulder for the time. 30 seconds. If you can see yourself in your camera, your mirror, See if your body's in a straight line. Ears over shoulders. And breathe. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three. We're starting over. And one, knees down. All right, grabbing those dumbbells. Overhead press. 12 of them. Option to kick, stand up, foot back. If you want to add a little rotation, you can do that as well. Really fire up those shoulders. I have four. All right, right into bent over row. Flatten that back. The further you bend, the harder this is. 12. Eight. Last three, then squats, last one. Rack them up, here we go. Down, squeeze up, down. Half 
halfway. Six. Five. Plank is next. Three. Two. One. Remember when you put your weights down, use good form, either deadlift or squat the weights down. Let's go ahead and get in our position for our plank. And three, two, one. Here we go. Think about lifting those shoulder blades up out of the back. Stack your ears over your shoulders, so try not to look down <laughs> or look too far up. Great job. We have 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Final time on circuit three, and then we're gonna get water. Reset, overhead press. If you're like, oh man, I'm fatiguing already. One arm is an option at a time. So right, left, or both. I'm doing a little combo. Last three. All right, I'm ready for this circuit to be over. That's how you should be feeling. Dumbbell row, 12 of them. Option as you're tiring, one arm at a time. I'm still okay here. Think about lowering with control. Quick up and lower. Quick, lower. Three, two, and one. Great job. Squats, 12 of them. Try a little smile out there. <laughs> We're almost there. Seven, eight. Last two. One more plank, and then we rest. Get those dumbbells out of your way. Come on down. Set up in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Option four on plank, or drop to the knees. Try to stay here as long as you can. This is the last one of this circuit. Breathe halfway. This is the hardest one for me too. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. Active recovery, a side to side step. Maybe some arm circles, get some water. Circuit one is done. Circuit two, laying down, chest press, or on a bench if you have it or an ottoman. <laughs> Lateral raise to the side. Reverse lunge, holding our dumbbells. One, two, each one counts. And side plank, right side. 30 seconds. Hope everyone's doing all right out there. It is warm. All right. We're gonna be laying down first. So head on down to your bench or to your yoga mat. Grab those dumbbells before you roll down. That way you don't strain anything. <laughs> and roll down. Open the arms out to the side. To make this a little more challenging, don't let the elbows hit the floor. So kind of hover when you come down. Let's go for 12. Slowly lower. Four. Five. You can also do chest fly. For some of us, that may be harder and exactly what we're looking for. Eight. Last two right here. One more. Great. Let's stand for lateral raise. Or to make it more challenging, you can stay in a kneeling pattern. I'm going to stay kneeling. Make sure you squeeze those glutes. Here we go. One. Too heavy, try one arm. We have eight more. Six, five, four. 
last three. Come on, hold that body still. Two and one. All right, if you're kneeling, let's stand. We're going reverse lunges. Hold those dumbbells down by your side. And let's get to it. So, stepping back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more, unless you need more. Beautiful, set those down. Side plank on the right side. So. The way I like to set up for this is you can either do elbow or arm. You decide. Here we go. You can extend the arm. You can hold it in. Breathe. If you need to, set the bottom knee down and the top leg extends. Last 10. So I can see I need to get my arm back a little bit. It should be right under my shoulder. Three, two, one. Down you go. Back to chest press. Grab those dumbbells. Roll yourself down. If you need more or less reps, you go for it. Here goes 12. Exhale up. Inhale down. Option for chest fly. This is round two. Trying to hover those elbows just over the floor for a little extra challenge. Good. Bringing those dumbbells to the center, rolling yourself up. Lateral raise, standing or kneeling. Here we go. 12. Option, alternate, last six, four, three, reverse lunges, last one, here we go, I'll turn to the other side this time, down and up, two, up, three, crowd chest, roll those shoulders back, halfway, Nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect. Right side plank again. Come on down. So first, make sure that arm is over the shoulder or elbow. I'll show you elbow this round. Press up, extend the top leg, hand to hip or up. Really working that core. I feel it much more on my forearm. Good. Halfway. 10. Last five, four, three, two, one. Final round. Chest press. Grab those dumbbells. Bring them to the body. Roll down. Give me 12. Trying to get out of that side a little. <laughs> Option to raise the legs. Last two. Last one. Good. Lateral raise. Here we go. Standing. I wish I had a pool to jump into right now. Seven. I guess the cold shower will do. Nine. 11 and 12. I messed up my counting there, but you know what I was doing. Here we go. 12 reverse lunges. Weighted, or if you're getting real tired, drop the weights. You can also hold them wrapped. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We have four, three, two, Great, La uh, plank, right side, final side. Final time on this side, I should say. 
Again, try the forearm if you have it right under the shoulder. Extend the bottom leg, lift it up, and then extend top leg. Here we go. If you want a little more, you could dip your hip down and up. A little oblique work, or just hold. If you need, press the top leg down to help. 15 seconds. So I'm showing you a modification here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, awesome work, guys. Towel off, water, active recovery here. Circuit three is coming in. That was three rounds, right? <laughs> Tricep extension. Um, both dumbbells, if you can, if they're too heavy, one is fine. Bicep curls. Dumbbell um, or goblet, kettlebell, pulsing squat and side plank left. 30 seconds of this rest. Those shoulders are feeling a little tight. Give them a roll out. Woo, all right. So, tricep, stand or kneel. Both dumbbells, if you can, down and up. Kneeling adds an extra layer of challenge here because your core is going to have to work. So keep the booty engaged, okay? Squeeze the glutes. I'm going to stay down. I'm also going to bicep curl down. And then I'll stand for squats, all right? Everybody ready? Oh, yeah, it's been a little longer than I expected. Here we go. Press them straight up. Lower 12. Exhale, lift. 11. In the next round, I'll show you the modification. You probably already know it with one dumbbell. Six. I'm using eight pounds if that helps. Last two. Last one, bring them down safely. Stand if you would like, or continue kneeling. Bicep curl, 12 of them. Up and inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Option one arm, then the other. If you want to do a crescent curl, that's fine. Or a hammer curl. Either way, we have seven left. Seven. Last two. Last one. All right, we're going to stand. Rack the dumbbells or come into a goblet squat. Your choice. I'm going to rack them because I want more weight. We're going to come down. We're going to pulse. For 12, so everyone's in their low position. 12, 11, 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo -wee. Left side plank. Here we go. Again, I'll start high on a tall arm. Extend the bottom leg. Lift the arm. Top leg, let's go. 30 seconds. Again, I can see that my left arm is out a little too far. I can lower and fix it, but for now I'm okay. I'll fix it for the next round. 15. Good, keeping that core tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're starting over. Tricep extension. If you're exhausted or you only have the one dumbbell, it looks like this. Down and up. Everybody ready? 12 of them. Let's go. Lower. Exhale. Lift. Squeeze that booty if you're kneeling. Last four. Oh man, I'm tired. Three, two, and one. Okay. Bicep curls. Standing or kneeling, 12 of them. We're almost done, guys. One more round after this and we are finished. All three circuits done three times. Eight. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Standing for that pulsing squat. If you didn't feel too much with 12, 
Could you go to 15 or 20 this time? Everyone lower down. Let's pulse it out. One, two, three. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Side plank. I'll show you forearm. I tend to have better form that way. So right under the shoulder, lift the hip, extend the lower leg, and then let's go. This is perfect, I can see the clock. <laughs> Option to lift the arm. Breathe. I know it's getting harder and harder, last 10. Five, four, three, two, one more. Let's go. Tricep extension. I'm gonna take the lowest regression. I'll show you from an angle. Here we go. Down, exhale up. Keep the booty engaged if you're kneeling. Elbows in. They want to go out, get them in. Last two, last one. All right, bicep curls. I'm gonna to change to standing. Here we go. Up, lower, slow. Up quick, lower, slow. Three, four. Option to switch your grip to a crescent. I guess not your grip, but your style. Last four. Three, two, and one. Dumbbell pulse squat. I'm gonna go to 20 this time. You can still go to 12. I just wanna get that final burn. Here we go. Ready, let's go. One, two, three. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Last four, three, two, one. All right, we're finishing with one. Side plank, and we're done. Whichever form works better for you. Again, option to stay right here. Maybe your top leg stays on the ground. Let's go. Whatever you need to finish. 10 seconds down, 20 left. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, amazing work. I'm gonna go ahead and give us a little stretch here. Um, let's come to stand if you wanna do be seated. A lot of this you can do on the ground. Stepping side to side. Again, my shoulders are feeling really tight, so I'm gonna open and close the arms, or you can windmill, <sighs> windmill. There we go, whatever feels good for you. Perfect. Little quad stretch here. You can do this laying down, knees together if you can. Stacking the body in a line, ears, shoulders, hips. One knee, one ankle, well, actually two knees, one ankle on the ground. Try not to dance forward. Using your arm for balance or holding on to something nearby. Great job, let's switch, other side, left foot. You can hold on, maybe to your partner, if they're doing this with you. Or you can bring your arm in. Good. Trying to keep that body in a straight line. You start leaning forward, come on back. Release. Slow figure four, right foot flexed over the left knee. Again, a lot of balance here. Use those arms as your balance. My glutes are very sore. <laughs> this has been a wild week. A lot of glute work this week, so. I'm gonna just enjoy this for a little longer. Inhale, exhale, maybe hands up there, inhale. Drop a little lower, a little lower. On your next exhale, rise. Other side, flex the left foot over right knee. Use the arms out first. This side may be more flexible, maybe less flexible. So just listen to your body. And you know we're gonna get into a deep squat, so get ready. <laughs> inhale. Exhale, good, coming down. If you can't get all the way down, this is fine. If you might have to adjust the legs a little, you might even be up on the heels, that's not a problem. If it feels good, prayer pose, press the knees out. 
I like to look down in front of me. Maybe close the eyes. Let's do two inhales and two exhales. Open the eyes, inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Tuck the chin into the chest. Lift the booty in the air. Hold here. I'll show you from the side. Little rag doll, or keep the hands down. Release the tension in the neck. Shake the head. Yes. Yes, I had a great time doing this workout. Shake your head. No. No, I don't regret it. <laughs> Maybe a little side to side. Good. And let's slowly, like we started class today, roll up. Keep the chin tucked in. Tuck it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing job, you guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter. I look forward to seeing you next time.